Hey everyone, it is Tarot Insights for the week of May 20th, 2024. Alrighty, well, it has been a week. I don't know about you, but I am ready for some sunshine. We went down to Franklin, North Carolina, one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's where the um, Blue Ridge Mountains meets the Smoky Mountains. And just beautiful. We were there at a gem show, um, but it was quite rainy. So anyway, it didn't spoil the gem show. So that's what we, that was good. All right. So all right. At, oh, hi, Chris. Good to see you. As usual, I'm going to pull a card to represent the energy of each day of the week. Some days you may relate to, some days you may not, um, because this is kind of a reading for everyone. Hello, Rachel Lynn. Glad you could join us. All right. So it is 7.15. Let's get going. It's Tarot Insights for the week of May 20th, 2024. Okie doke. So what is the energy for Monday? Monday, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Monday is a day where it is important not to ride the roller coaster. You know, you could say, oh, look at so-and-so. They're having a great day. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at so-and-so. They're having a tough day. That's too bad, you know, but, but you don't have to ride those highs and lows. It's also a day that's going to be changeful. And so if you try to cling to things, trying to keep them the same, you are going to be really frustrated on Monday. But if you can go with the flow and say, oh, look at sunny day. Oh, the clouds came out. Rainy day. Wonderful. Sunny day. Wonderful. You know, if you can come and go with the flow, Monday will be just fine. Now, how do you use that energy? It's a changeful day. So if there's changes you've been trying to make, then on Monday is a great day to do it. If you're trying to keep everything together, just kind of stay in bed on Monday because it ain't going to work. Hey, Val, glad you could join us. Let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday, we have the tower. The tower is usually poop hitting the fan. It usually hits the fan. It's usually chaotic. It's uncontrollable. It's not something that's comfortable. But usually what it does is it clears the way for future progress. And so when you're going through a struggle on Tuesday, just remember it's clearing the way for future progress. But Tuesday may be a little bit frustrating. I would not plan really important things on Tuesday. Let's look at Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the Two of Swords upside down. And Two of Swords upside down to me means I'm going by my intuition. I am listening to my gut. I am not trying to figure it out because it doesn't necessarily make sense. Hey, Marta, glad you could join us. I'm not trying to figure it out, so to speak. I'm just kind of going with the intuition and that will guide you quite, quite well on Wednesday. Wednesday is just an intuitive day. It's also a day where... You may find that you can just relax mentally more. You may find on Wednesday that your mind is not quite as um, annoying <laughs> or active. It just may be a more of a go with the flow day, probably relaxing. And probably that's good because Tuesday was not. All right, let's look at Thursday. Thursday, we have the Seven of Pentacles upside down. Thursday is a day where you're not going to be able to focus. So Thursday is a day where you're better off just allowing your mind to do, go, be where it's going to be. Hey, Rochelle, glad you could join us. We're on Thursday and it's not a focus day. It's more of a free association day. It's a great creativity day. It's a great uh, day to, again, both Wednesday and Thursday are not where you're doing you know, the, the minutia that requires a lot of mental, right? One, both Wednesday and Thursday are more of a go with the flow kind of intuitive energy. And so if you plan ahead and don't plan those days to be mental heavy, right? Um, to have them be more creative, more flowy, you'll find that things go quite well this week. Once we get past Tuesday, Tuesday is a little, um, going to be a little hectic now. Um, Let's look at Friday. Friday, we have the Six of Wands upside down. Friday, we're, we're really looking at 
I need to support me. I can't look at everybody else to do it for me. It's not, oh, woe is me, I'm on my own. It's, wow, you know, this is an opportunity for me to do it the way I want to do it, not worry about if everybody else is going to like it. You know, it's kind of like when when nobody's home for dinner but you, you get what you want, right? You don't have to worry about what everybody else wants to eat. Well, that's kind of what Friday is. It's a day where um, yes, you may have to do things on your own, but B, on the other side, you're able to do it the way you want to. You're not worried about how everybody else will react. 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 Let's look at Saturday. Saturday, more alone time. We have the Hermit. It's a wonderfully spiritual day. Hey, Pasqua, good to see you. Um, it's, uh, do you know Carol Everett's birthday is coming up soon? We, <laughs> I just was talking to her. Anyway. Um, funny how you can remember Pasqua as a childhood friend. It's funny how you can remember childhood friends' birthdays, but you can't remember, you know, your friends. Hey, Jean, up here. You're, we're just up to Saturday. And Saturday is a hermit day, which means it's a day where we're comfortable alone. We're enjoying spending time alone. It's a good day to read a book or do a hobby um, or to do things where you don't need a lot of, of, um, input from other people. It's also an amazingly spiritual day. And so if you ha if you have things that you want to do spiritually, do some study or whether it's Bible study or whether it's more um, eclectic spiritual study, Saturday's a very good day to do it. And then Sunday, we have the Nine of Swords upside down, which, you know, sometimes we like to have cards upside down, and the Nine of Swords is one of them. It's another day where we're not in that mental craziness space, you know, we're not feeling um, haunted. I mean, we actually have two cards this week where the birds, which are kind of our mental, but because they're, they're, um, Blackbirds, they could actually represent, or crows, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they can represent uh, annoying thoughts, right? Um, uh, that they're not, they're not bothering us. They're not pestering. Hi, Kathy, glad you could join us. So Monday, day of change. Great day if you want to make some changes. Tuesday, a little bit of chaos, and but it is chaos to clear the way for a new foundation. Wednesday is a day where our mind is not keeping us up at night. It's not a day where we're going to be doing a lot of mental uh, permutations, though. Same thing on Thursday. It's not a good day for focus, so pick things that maybe have to do more with creativity where you can do more free association. Friday, you're you're doing it your way. You're not worried about what everybody else wants. But on the other hand, you may find you don't have the help that you need or the support, um, but it'll allow you the freedom of doing it the way you want to. Um, Saturday also is a day where we're kind of on our own, but this is a much more enjoyable on our own probably. Um, and it's a great day for spirituality. And Sunday is a day again, where we're not hampered by mental or mind or thought limitations. So that looks really good. And I don't know if you remember from last week, we pulled one of our cards. These were on our wedding tables instead of wedding numbers we had different words, you know, and so kind of like the angel cards, let's see what our word is for this week. Whoops, it's backwards, but it says miracles. So this is a week. Let's look around and count uh, all the miracles that we see because we are going to be seeing miracles for sure. All right. Well, um, thank you for joining me. We uh, will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.